Hello everybody. Here's a Zenith M660, circa 1967 shortwave radio that I picked up almost two years ago on eBay. I had one of these when I was a kid and I, my dad bought it for me and I thought, you know, it'd be kind of cool and odd at the same time to kind of relive the past. So picked up this radio. I really didn't want to open the box because I thought, oh my God, what if it brings back bad memories or whatever? But it's been sitting around, and since we have the situation, the situation where we all stay in the house, I thought, oh, I'll take this thing out of the box now and see what it does. So I have it sitting on a bed because I don't have any room for it here in this house. And this thing lights up. It's a shortwave radio. It will re receive AM and shortwave and all that. And my dad got me this a long time ago. Well, one like this because I had a real interest in shortwave radio. So it has a a uh, sensitivity control on it, and you can select your bands. These are all the different shortwave bands you can listen to. One, two, and three here, and these are all megahertz or megacycles. It has an AM band and a low band too. There's a volume control, something called band spread, and all band spread does is it gives you a finer granular tuning of that top dial. So you can consider this dial here a coarse tune and this one a fine tune. So it has this receive standby switch which is kind of fancy but kind of useless. And I guess that takes the B plus off the tubes, the high voltage off the tubes inside. Beat frequency oscillator which you really can't adjust the uh, pitch of it and an automatic noise limiter. I always felt these buttons were kind of useless. BFO is useful. So okay, what if you want to use this thing? Well. I did fiddle with it and I was able to get something on AM so we can flick this thing back to broadcast band. And yeah, you can hear the static there, so can try and tune something in here. So I'm in San Jose, California, and of course we don't get anything normal around here. It's all it's all completely foreign music. Even though America is a English-speaking country, well, there's something. Anyway, this is the M660 uh, radio by uh, Zenith. It's a really old radio. It's got a speaker on the side here. And in the rear, there's a spot for headphones, a spot for an old fashioned jack. I think that's audio out. There's an AM antenna there. And then these little screws here are for antenna and ground. And it has a tube listing there for the tubes. Yeah, this radio has, has tubes inside, they're glowing. It's not solid state, so this was not constructed with solid state type components. And inside here, you might see, yeah, there's a tube in there. See that orange light? That's a tube glowing in there. It's kind of cool, isn't it? Kind of wild. So, uh, yeah, this baby runs on tubes, that's for sure. Or valves. The Brits call them valves, so there's valves in this baby here. Anyway, yeah, it's an old Zenith radio. Doesn't work very well. The guy, uh, sent me a nice manual with it to fix it. I mean, he used it for AM, so it worked fine for him. And he wrote me a very gracious note. Look at this nice note he wrote me. Such a nice person. So this guy was a collector, and I hope he's all right. That's why I bought this radio. I kind of wanted a piece of my past here, and I got it. Oh, now I guess I gotta buy some tubes for it because it doesn't work very well. And try and tune it. And I also checked the sunspot cycle and there's no sunspots to be had. So this thing kind of relies on sunspots to um, give it reception with short wave waves, short waves bouncing off the ionosphere. Believe it or not, that's how this worked before cell phones, before 
fiber optic cables across the ocean, you had people on shortwave radios, ham radio operators, and you had states that had these broadcasting systems, broadcasting propaganda, and you had spies using radios too, transmitting codes across the Atlantic and Pacific and wherever else to their spies in the field. So again, this is my little uh, uh, radio here, the uh, M660, model M660 Zenith radio. And yes, it needs a light bulb there too. I love these old lights. I guess I could put an LED in there, but no, 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 keep it stock. Okay, thanks for watching. Yeah, this thing's really in great condition. I know lighting in here isn't very good, but this is like the first out-of-the-box experience here. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.